Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. And I think to myself, what a wonderful So today's video is going to be an update to my project Use It Up. So I have introduced my fall project Use It Up last month in September and now that we're in October I'm going to do the first update of it. I have some things that I finished, some things that I'm rolling out and some things that I'm rolling in for October. So I hope that you're excited. Let's go ahead and get started. So the first thing that I will show you that I finished is actually the only thing that I finished sadly and that is Pinkberry Clouds in the mini body cream. So I don't have the notes for this, but I'm pretty sure it was like whipped berries, something else. It was really delicious. So yummy, but I don't think it'd be anything that I'd buy in the full size, but it was really good while I had it. So the next few things I'm going to go ahead and update, but I will be rolling out of the project. The first is whipped vanilla chiffon. So I wasn't quite, quite ready for like actual fall fragrances, so I started off with just like vanilla. So whipped vanilla chiffon in the spray and in the uh, body lotion. So in the spray, here I'll read you the notes first. Uh, wild vanilla bean sponge sugar and white peach blossom. So the spray, I made a little bit of progress on I'm actually pretty happy about this progress from here to here in a month so not bad and then on the body lotion I also made some progress I could keep going with these but I really want to start on my pumpkin fragrances so I can finish those up um, but these will be easy wins for me come springtime so it's okay um, here is the progress on that for the um, whip vanilla chiffon so I'm gonna be rolling these out just because I'm not really feeling just like plain vanilla now. Now I want to move into pumpkin. The next set that I am rolling out is actually a strawberry pound cake. So I have it in the body lotion and this one I did make some good progress on. Um, scent notes on strawberry pound cake are fresh strawberries, golden shortcake, and whipped cream. I'm sure everybody knows how this smells, but I made some progress on the lotion. Not bad. Pretty happy about it. Smelled great. I really wasn't ready for pumpkin. so fruity it was and then in the moisturizing body wash um, I actually measure this by ounces so my mom has a like my mom has a shipping scale that she weighs packages on so I weighed this in ounces on that um, I started it off I think in the um, summer project at 13 ounces and then 10.9 and now we're at 8.9 ounces so I got through two ounces last month I really wasn't focusing on this one that much but I will be rolling these out. Probably gonna put them back in come springtime. Okay, let's go through some stuff that I did use last month that I will be keeping in. The first thing is the Blackberry and Basil shower gel. I'm actually gonna leave it upside down though so you can see that there's like naughty, not a lot, probably two or three more showers worth. Um, but last month I had it at about right here, so I'm gonna label it about right here. Um, made a lot of progress on this one. I really enjoyed it last month, um, especially as like a transitional scent because um, I really wasn't ready for anything too fall-like um, and this one was really good because it was very hot outside. So I'll be keeping this in, definitely going to be finishing it very soon. And the next thing I have is the other shower gel that was in the project and that is the um, OGX Coconut and Coffee Scrub and Wash. And I got a little bit of progress on this one, not too much. I didn't use it that much, really only if I ever showered in the mornings, um, but I used about that much. I'm gonna keep it in the shower, so I'm gonna keep it in the project. It smells amazing, it smells so, so good. It's nice and warm for the fall, so I'm definitely keeping this one in. I'm also keeping in Vanilla Mocha Cafe. I used this um, fragrance mist last month. Let's see if I can discern where the product is. I really can't tell. Just gonna say it's right about here. I can't tell because this packaging is over it, but this is the progress from last month, so I didn't use this one that much. But that's okay. I'm also keeping in Pink Velvet Cupcake. This is from last year. Scent notes are sparkling red berries, whipped pink marshmallow, and sugared praline. This one. Now this one, I made a lot of progress on. And I'm about to be done with it. And as you can see, by all these lines, I've been using it for a long time, for pretty much the entire year. Um, and I did scratch off the packaging with just like safety scissors. Um, because I wanted to be able to see inside of it and I don't know why they would put this packaging all the way around so you can't see it but this is my progress from here to here in the last month so pretty good progress and I will definitely be finishing this in the next month that's one of my goals is to finish that 
The next thing I have is Twilight Woods in the Diamond Shimmer Mist. This one I did not use that much, that much, but I enjoyed it when I used it. So I'm gonna go ahead and mark where it's at. I didn't use a lot, like I said, but it was really cute when I used it. So that's the progress on that. And yeah, it's like a, it's a very nice fall scent. I can imagine using it a lot more this month than last month. And then we have Honey Wildflower, which I still have not decided if I like or not. So yeah, I'm gonna keep it in the project so I can like make my mind up. And then if I wanna return it, I can return it or exchange it. Um, I'm still unsure if it's too floral for me or not. So, but that is the progress that I made in the last month. Not a lot, cause like I said, I can't tell if I like it or not. So we're gonna keep trying. Um, the next thing I have is the Victoria's Secret Tease Heartbreaker Roll-On Perfume. And I wanted to challenge myself to um, try and make it, make it a habit to use perfume every single day and then see how far I can get. So that was like my challenge last month and I used perfume pretty much every single day. I would say six out of seven days of the week. Sometimes I forgot and I'd put it on my wrists and then I'd put it behind my ears and if I wanted to do some more, I did like a little bit on my elbows. So that's the progress that I made in the last month. So about this much. So technically it would take me one, two, three, for five months to finish up a rollerball. That's crazy. Um, I'm sure I'd use more if I sprayed it, but we're just rolling it on with that. So yeah, gonna keep this in though. I really, really enjoy it. It smells so good. It's a really nice scent and it's not too floral. It's very fruity, loving it. I've been really loving it. And then the last two things that I am keeping in the project, the first one is the Onyx Bathhouse Stay Toasty Toasted Marshmallow Foaming Body Scrub. This stuff is so good. It's super coarse though, so I only use it like once a week, but I have made definitely some progress. I think I had used this once last time that I was here and I made a significant dent in it. Now I'm down to the red part at the bottom. And I wouldn't say it's like super marshmallowy. It's just like sugary, um, but I love the lather this gets when you start rubbing it in with some water. It's really good. And then I have the Dove Exfoliating Body Polish in Crushed Macadamia and Rice Milk. I used this so much last month that I'm probably gonna be finished with it very soon. As you can tell, I've scraped the bottom already and this is like a nice gentle scrub. I use this maybe three times a week and I really, really enjoy it. I'm definitely gonna have to stock up on some more Dove body scrubs next time I see them because they're so good. I really want the brown sugar one but that one's very hard to find, so wish me luck. Okay, the last thing that was in the project last month, but I actually got no progress on it, is pumpkin cupcake, because I just could not commit to a pumpkin body fragrance. So I had this in my uh, bag at work, and honestly, it made me kind of like feel sick when I tried to use it, because I just wasn't in the mood for pumpkin. But now I am, so I'm gonna keep it in, but I have no progress on it. So that's a little sad, but it's okay. Um, but now I'm gonna introduce some new products. Now that it's October, it's spooky month, I'm finally ready for pumpkin. Um, I'm gonna introduce some things. So the first things are hand creams. One I've already been using, and this is Champagne Apple and Honey. I've been using this one at work, um, and you can tell there's a little bit of use out of it. And this is a really good scent, especially to transition with. Apple, in my opinion, is the best scent to transition from summer to fall with. It's so good, so been loving this one and then on my bedside table I've been using sweet whiskey and actually I've been really loving it I thought I wouldn't be a fan but I like it a lot it's a very calming scent too to use at night so been loving this gonna put it in the project and then I have the trio in can you guess it in vampire blood this is the happy halloween little minis collection so we have the diamond shimmer mist which i'll mark all these once i'm done showing you them the body lotion and the shower gel so so cute i mm, okay i'm definitely gonna be well i can't mark this one because it's just black packaging but i'm definitely gonna be um using these for like shower routines and stuff um, during October and I'm so excited to bust them out. I really want to use them. 
I've been dying. I'm gonna keep the packaging on them even after I finish them though because they're kind of like collector's items in my opinion. But I am traveling next week. I'm going to Chicago with Ryan and I'm um, gonna bring these. So wish me luck. Um, hopefully we can get through a lot. And I'm a little scared of the Diamond Shimmer Mist, honestly. I might not pack this because I'm scared what if it like leaks everywhere. But it smells really good. Um, I'm also a little scared of the shimmer part. I don't know. So we shall see what that, how that goes. But that's the first little set of stuff that I'm bringing into the project. The next thing I'm bringing in, you guys are going to be really excited about. And that is White Pumpkin and Chai in all four forms that it came in last year. So yeah, I'm going to be bringing in the entire set. I honestly didn't even use it last year. I think I used the Fine Fragrance Mist a few times, but I just really wasn't ready for Super Pumpkin-y. Um, but I'm ready for pumpkin, and so I'm bringing it in the project. So the first thing is the body cream. This is the packaging from last year. They did just bring it out for the Thanksgiving collection this year. Um, but last year's packaging I thought was really elegant. Scent notes are cinnamon cider, spiced pumpkin, and vanilla glaze. And I had thought that mine had gone off. But actually it hadn't. I think it was just like the little, there was like a hardened part at the top, you know what I mean? When it's exposed to air for too long. So it has not gone bad, but I definitely want to use it up because it will go bad if I leave it past um, this year since it's from last year already. And then I'm also putting in the body lotion. This is what that looked like last year with the cute little gold lid. Same scent notes. Um, we're going to go ahead and mark this. And then I'm putting in the shower gel as well. I used the shower gel a bit last year, but not a lot. Um, same scent notes. This one is super spicy in the shower. So I'm excited for this one. I used this primarily around Thanksgiving last year. So I'm excited to see how it is um, in the fall time. I mean, not the fall time, in the Halloween time. And then this one again has that packaging that you can't see the lines over here, but I didn't use that much of it last year. So it's pretty much right at the top of this label. And yeah, very spicy, very pumpkin-y really excited to use it that's the first set of pumpkin stuff and then the next set of pumpkin stuff actually these don't go together at all these three are just kind of separate because i wanted to use them um so we have almond blossom pumpkin cupcake and pumpkin pecan waffles so i picked up pumpkin pecan waffles in the shower gel this year um i really don't think i'll pick it up in any other scent um any other form um, besides just the shower gel this year. Scent notes are maple syrup, golden waffles, and pumpkin spice and brown sugar. It's super sweet, like almost too sweet. Mmm, but it smells just like pumpkin pecan waffles. Like they nailed it on this one. So very excited to use this in the shower. We'll see how it goes, but I really wanted to start using this now, so I am. And then we have pumpkin cupcake, which everybody's so excited that they brought this out finally in the body care scent notes are whipped buttercream pumpkin spice and vanilla cake batter this one is super sweet as well obviously it's a bakery pumpkin it's going to be super sweet um but so far so good i used this last night and really liked it it's super super spicy so this might not get used immediately um but i definitely will be using this and then the last thing that i am putting into the project is almond blossom and i had this in my fall project last year as well because i really think that almond blossom is a great yes it's a great year-round scent but it's a really good fall scent because it has that warm aspect and i can't even put a finger to what it is but it's beautiful and it's very sophisticated without being too floral. So if you're somebody like me where you don't like florals and you really don't gra gravitate towards like super sophisticated scents like in the stars or in the night at, at into the star into the night. Oh my God, I can't remember what the names are, but like all those scents, I can't do those because they're too perfumey. But this one is the perfect mix. It's like a baby perfume. It's not super strong but it lasts a very long time. Really, really good warm scent. So I'm very excited to use this. And as you can tell, I've tried to use it a lot in the past and not had any success. So we shall see. I hope I use a lot of it this year, but it is from 2018. So I probably should get it used up soon because it is like going on three years. Um, it'll be four years next year. So I just kind of want to start using it up and get it finished, but it's a really good fall scent. 
Mm, and I love it. So that's a lot of uh, products to be using at once. So I really hope I can finish off some stuff, but I wanted to put in all the new fall stuff that I got and start using it. And I'm really excited for the whole Vampire Blood set. Like, it's so cute. So yeah, let me know down below if you guys are also putting in special stuff just for Halloween. Um, I'm really curious to see what you guys are using right now. So let me know down below um, what products you're working on in the month of October. And that's everything for today's video. I hope that you enjoyed. If you did, like, comment, and subscribe down below. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.